This is Mark from Team How To, and we're teaching the masses how to. Hey guys, Mark from Team How To. Today I want to show you how to add cards to your YouTube videos. A couple things to know about them off the top are they are not available for the videos that are set to as made for kids for some reason or another. And what you use them for is to make your videos more interactive. The cards can add a poll or links to other channels and, and you could have a link back to a video you've done before, different things like that. If you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, let me show you real quick. Here's an example of a video I've got out that's got a card on it. Listen real quick here. If you want more information on that, I have a video that addresses all of that. You can look at it up here in the right corner. I'll put a card up You see how it just video, popped into place there? So that's what we're talking back. about. If I clicked onto this, it would take me to that video. I'll click onto that. So from here, it's going to show you all of the videos that I have listed out throughout the entire program. This is the one I was referring to at that point. This is one I had mentioned earlier. So let me show you real quick how to get on with this and get it installed. Let's go to our YouTube Studio. So we'll just click here, come up to our drop down, go to YouTube Studio. That'll bring up the studio itself. I'll just go to videos to get to the specific one I'm looking for, that's this one. So I click into this and scroll down to the cards. Now as you're putting your video together, if you do it as you go through, the cards will be an option as you're going through and it'll be pretty obvious. It's right by the end screens in that, in that screen too when you're doing it from scratch. But if you're doing it after the fact, this is how you would get back to do it or change it. So we hit the cards. Now, it's going to bring up what I've already got in place, which as you can see are a couple here. Actually, there's five in place right now. So what I want to do is add one more. So what I can do here is if I wanted to change any of these, I still could. I could come into each one and edit them separately, edit the card. You can see there as I hover over the pencil. Um, show you real quick here. This basically gives you the opportunity because this one happens to be a video or playlist style. I could come in and just pick a different video to connect to that spot, hit the playlist that I want to connect to that spot, or I could actually paste the YouTube video directly, because sometimes you're not going to see the video you're looking for in here. we got way more videos than that, but that's just the most... Uh, I'm not sure why it picks those. They're not the most recent necessarily, but whatever. So we do that. Uh, you could just paste it. And what I would do there is I would go back to my YouTube studio and I would grab the link from here, just hit the copy the link, come back in and paste it there. That'd be the way I'd get to that if I was looking to. We don't need to edit that one. What we're going to do is add one more. What I've decided is I need to add one at the basically the 1555 mark. So that's 1555. So what I'll do is I'll line it up. 1556 is close enough. I'll go to add card. In this case I'll do video or playlist. Like I said before you could add a channel. You could actually add a poll. Or if you want to get your uh, your account approved, you come in here and you can add a link as well. So what, what we have to do to add the actual playlist or the video, like I said, we hit the create button. I'm just going to paste it because I've already got it in place. Paste and create card. Now as you may have noticed there, and I'll, I can go back to the edit to do that. Um, I could show you that real quick. If I were to come into here, I can add a custom text teaser as opposed to the default. So if I want to come in here and say a special thanks to or just whatever, that might be nice too. What it what it shows as default though are these words here, equalization, effect, and audacity. It's going to be the title of that video. Uh, now, like I mentioned, you could also add, let's say you wanted to scroll all the way to the end and add, like in this case, I this person requested this particular video that I was doing. So I put a shout out to them in there and I put their logo up. And so if I wanted to do that, I would have come in, hit this, went down to channel, hit the create, and I basically added their channel name URL. I just copied and pasted their channel URL and then I put my special message there. And then I said create and then it'll pop it up there. So that's a really nice thing you can do too. That kind of explains all that stuff. If you came in and you you knew where you wanted something and you wanted to adjust it slightly. Let's say we went out and watched it and it wasn't quite right. Well, we can come in here, slide this to whatever. Let's say I wanted that at 1555 versus 16. Uh, okay, so I go to 1555 there. All I got to do is get on this one and drag it to where it's at the 1555. And you can see right there. There we go. Perfect. So now that's dead center on 1555. And if we want to play to see how it's going to look, you can see it's there. 
sometimes graphics. Sometimes it doesn't show up really well in this in this particular view. Silence at the beginning and end. Let's see if I do Next this. Thing I like to do is put right here at 55, it should pop up up here. Filter curve. They basically do all the work that the old EQ setting used to do. There we go. Equalization curve. settings. Boom. See, these are the there we go. So let me get back out of this. Excellent. There we go. We'll pause it. All right. So that's really all there is to that. Um, there's a few things to know. It says when you're finished, close this tab. Other times over here, it will just say click here to return. In this case, it says finished. Close it. We can just, it's already saved. You don't have to worry about that. You notice here all changes saved. Hit the exit. Come back in here. This will be saved. You could, if this is not grayed out, hit the save button. Now, if I'm to go to it out on YouTube, I will see that in its place. It'll instantly get populated. So that's all there is to that. Hope you learned something. If you liked this video and you found it useful, tell a friend. If you did not like it and you did not find it useful, keep your big mouth shut. Thanks. Hey, did you remember to subscribe?